Hello everybody, welcome back to Multimode Studio. Have you ever thought about teaching your dog how to use a light switch? Here's a few funny takes on what could happen if you told your dog how to use a light switch. Honey, I'm ready for bed. I am so tired. Even if I sleep for weeks, I think I could still sleep for more. There, yeah, honey, you've got to turn off the light. But don't worry, I got it. You can just stay in bed. Why don't we train Blue to turn the light off for us? No, that's a bad idea. You really don't want to do that. Why not? Blue's smart. We can train him. No, no, no. You really don't want to do that. Let me give you a few examples to show you how bad it could be. Every morning, when Blue wants to go out, Blue, please let me sleep just a few more minutes. It's not even six o'clock yet. Let me rephrase it. I need to go out. Blue, lay back down and go to sleep a bit more. I'll take you out in 30 minutes, okay? I don't want to sleep anymore. I need to do something else to get your attention then. How about the light switch? Fine. Fine. Point taken. I'll take you out. That actually worked! Mission accomplished! Every time you're working... I want to play. I want to play. I have the ball right here. Throw the ball for me. I'm sorry, Blue, but I'm busy right now. Can we please play later? You don't want to throw the ball? How about this squeaky toy? We wouldn't play tug of war with him. Blue, please stop it. I need to concentrate on my work. How about we play hide and seek then? Blue, turn the light back on. This is the part you're supposed to go find me. Come on. Humans are so blind. Blue, turn the light back on. Fine, I'll go and turn the light back on myself. When you take the shower, hey honey, I'm gonna take a quick shower and then I'll start on dinner. Don't worry, take your time. I can start working on dinner. No, lady, don't go to the shower. You need to get dinner ready. I'm hungry. Not a shower. Don't go in there. Late night, good spot for me to sit in the bathroom. The floor is so cold. Fine, you don't listen. Hey, honey, why is the light off? Is the electricity out? What's up? I'm coming. I'm here. Why are you taking a shower in the dark? No, the light was just turned off. That's why I was asking if the electricity was out. No, everything is fine. That has to be blue, then. I'm gonna head back to cooking dinner. I'll take Blue with me. Blue, let's go. Okay, thanks. Honey, the light is off again. 
Can you turn it back on for me? Come on, Boo. Boo, stop playing with the light switch. I'll keep my eye on you from now on. When you want to have a snack in the middle of the night, What are you doing? Hey, lady, answer me. If you have food, you're supposed to share. Don't hold all the food. Blue, stop that. You're gonna wake up the whole house and I don't want to feed them too. What? That's the only way to get your attention? Food for my sons? Blue, I thought we had an understanding. When we cuddle in the bedroom, Blue keeps turning the light on and off. This was your idea to teach Blue to operate the light switch. Quit it, Blue. This is the last straw. I forbid you from touching the light switch ever again. I dare you. I dare you. Okay, you have a point. No teaching Blue how to use the light switch. Don't worry, honey. I got the light. Thank you. I'll try to remember to turn off the light next time. Uh-oh. You haven't gotten out of bed to turn off the light. Then who did? And our nightmare's already begun. The moral of the story is that animals have feelings too, but since they can't talk, you can't understand them, so sometimes they do annoying things just to get your attention. Please try to spend more time with your pets. Thank you. Disclaimer, this is a fictional story. No animals or persons were hurt or endangered during the production of this video. Don't forget to check out our stories and our Patreon page. If you enjoy the stories, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you again.